Since I teach in an inner city school, I create karma with students that have social emotional problems. It seems like some students' negative karma are so severe that they are self destructive. Is it better to create karma with wealthy, highly intelligent, and nice people? so that in my next life I will be better associated with people that have these characteristics rather than with people that have few virtue, virtues to have a better rebirth or better karma. Um, I think it's kind of a loaded question because I did answer something along these lines before. Uh, about how it's better to help people who are uh, of sound mind. No. So I, I assume that there's at least a part of this is is an interest in that topic. But the 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 point that I that I I hope was made clear in that that um, speech was that. It has nothing to do with your own benefit. Um, it has to do with the benefit that you're going to bring to others. Because you can bring benefit to people who are in, uh, who have difficult minds. I, as I said, I, I taught in the jail. I taught meditation in the jail. Um, and teaching in the jail gave me a lot of the same feeling as, as teaching in Second Life, when I taught in this virtual reality world. In both places I got the same feeling was that these people are not really serious about this. As I said, this one prisoner, he, he asked me, he wanted to learn how to fly, how to leave his body. I mean, he's in jail. <laughs> this, is, this is what could be better, to be able to leave his body and leave the prison and go flying around the city. Uh, but you can help those people. Theoretically, you can help anyone. And so part of the answer, I think, is to not be averse to helping the people who are, you're confronted with. But the point was, if you're going to dedicate your life to, to helping, to, to bringing benefit to others, or if you're going to dedicate a portion of your life to dedicating other, to dedic dedicate a portion of your life to helping others, you should try to find a way that so that your help will be best will be most efficient and from my point of view the most efficient thing to do is to teach people how to deal with these people or it's more efficient to teach people who are going to then be teachers it's more efficient for me to teach people who come here how to become leaders and and spiritual guides than it would be for me to go around as as they might do um, teaching people who are not spiritual, or, or dealing with interacting with people who are not, who are on a, 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 a maybe a, at a less lesser level of interest, and it would it's even it would be better to be that sort of person who's a teacher and a guide than to be someone who is uh, you know, further on down who is just helping people's material benefit. So, for example, a person who is a spiritual guide for for teaching people how to be good lawyers or good doctors or good uh, secular te or school teachers. Better to be that person than to be the person who is the school teacher who is uh, teaching secular subjects, subjects that have some benefit um, but have far less benefit obviously than the spiritual side of being able to teach meditation. So I would answer in two ways. The first one is that if you're with these people, if this is your job and this is where you are in life, then certainly don't avoid them and don't think, oh boy, I wish I was with people who were rich and handsome and, and you know, or, or whatever, who had good karma and, and lots of, you know, who, who, who gave me a good rebirth or so on. But on the other hand, you sometimes have to question whether your life is the best use, whether your 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 mm, your path at this time is the best use of your resources for both yourself and others, and that's always a judgment call because eventually, of course, the answer is no. The best the best life is to go off and become a monk and live in a cave. So it's totally up to you how how far you want to go with that. Um, 
there's the story of this Sotapanna who then became the wife of a hunter, so she lived as a hunter's wife, cleaning his, cleaning the guts off of his traps. So you certainly you can live in any position, and you you shouldn't have to worry about where you where you find yourself. But the point of that was just was in regards to bringing having the most benefit, and from my point of view, it comes from teaching people how to teach meditation, really, or, or at least teaching meditation. Um, I have uh, two things to, to say to this. To, um, um, the first thing is, uh, you should, when you are with them, uh, try not to, to become like them, like with uh, uh, unwholesome karma and and um, destructive, mm. but you should try to make them uh, more like like you are. You should try to to teach them the 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 virtues when they have none, and and to be not destructive when they are destructive. That's the one thing I wanted to say. The, the other thing is that uh, your karma brought you there, maybe. There are always more, more uh, reasons to get somewhere or to, to experience something than just only karma. But let's say your karma got you there, then uh, that's one thing. Um, but uh, what you are doing there, what you are doing with them, is what creates your future karma. So mm. if you can teach them in a wholesome way, when you can make them better people, when you don't get angry, when you don't do unwholesome things while you're teaching them, then um, it's absolutely not important if you teach Im intelligent or high-class people. Um, or, or low-class people. Uh, it's just important what you do, uh, how wholesome your mind is at that moment. Um, I c could have explained better, but... <laughs> yeah. It's fine. It's getting late. <laughs>